So today I'm going to take you through doing a couple of upgrades that make your old laptop feel new again. So I was given this laptop here, an HP Pavlon X360 14 inch laptop for a family member who was complaining that it was really really slow and they just felt it was locking up a lot of the time. So I'm going to take you through what I did to upgrade it and we'll take a wee look at some of the other options you can do. So the very first thing off the bat of this one is it has a one terabyte hard drive and that is a standard 5400 RPM drive and it is slow. Yes, it may be big in size but it's really, really slow. So the first upgrade I decided to do for that was we moved over to a crucial BX500 240GB SSD. These go on special all the time on Amazon. It's currently £30.77. I purchased this for $24.99, which was a great price at the time. And the machine also was running on 4 gigs of RAM, which anyone knows for Windows 10 is very, very basic. I mean, the machine will use more or less up to about the 2 gig mark, give or take. Um, just with like, its bare functions and this has got a whole bunch of touchscreen stuff and everything else built in as well so best to get a wee bit more memory so we went for the cheapest ones on Amazon at the time and it looks like it's a little bit cheaper than when I ordered it but £20 for some Qmux we'll say that's how it's pronounced uh, 4 gig of DDR4 memory and that's what I'll be upgrading today so a couple of ways you can do this so you can either use an adapter like this one here I have one sitting right here picked up a few of these on Amazon for $6.99 and they simply just allow you to use your external hard drive or turn your new SSD into the external hard drive and then you can use software to clone it over. Now a lot of people like to use that old hard drive as some sort of external storage when they're done. So I'd maybe recommend something along those lines here like a Sabrent enclosure which you could also use to do the process of cloning. Now moving on to the cloning itself, the software that I like to use is Macrium. Macrium Reflect is free and it'll basically allow you to clone your drives over so i'm going to take you through some footage for it and um, i'll show you just a little bit as well so i've got the software loaded up here and my pc is a little bit different because i've got a good few drives but essentially it's just a case of clicking clone this disk you'd select the disk you want to clone to which will be your new one and the external closure that will show here and you're pretty much good to go you pick that let it do the whole backup and then it's just switching out the drives and that is you. Um, but for that as well, another thing I'd recommend is if you are cloning a larger drive to a smaller drive, you can sometimes get stuck where it's really simple when you're dragging it over, there's an option to drag the end. So that sometimes your one terabyte drive, it'll say it's too big to fit on the 240 gig SSD, for example, but 99% of that to one terabyte drive is empty. So it's just a case of dragging the slider all the way along so it fits within the margins because it's just all blank space and then doing the clone. And it should be as simple as swapping out the old one and in for the new one to make the machine fast again. So let's go through that real quick. So here is the HP laptop here. I apologize for the video quality. This is it booting into Windows. And as we can see, as we bring up the task manager, the disk is running at more or less 100%. We're using 60 odd percent of the memory straight off the button and the CPU is jumping about all over the place. Now if we move on to the actual performance tab you can see that the memory is over 2 gigabytes used just from booting the machine up. And this is with a lot of the applications turned off at boot. And we can see as well that the hard drive is jumping up and down there. So what we're going to do is we are going to get this cloned. That way we can get the new SSD and the new memory module into the machine and make it a lot faster. So as you can see here from this time lapse, this is the HP Pavilion X360 here. And I'm just gonna be fitting the new memory module and the new SSD to the machine itself. Now like most laptops, it's just a case of removing a few screws on the bottom and removing the base plate to gain access to the components. Your laptop, however, may vary, so please check your manual before doing this. It will show you a clear path on how to upgrade both your RAM and your hard drive if it is possible on the machine that you own. For this machine specifically, the only issue I came across was the memory modules were covered by a metal tray. And that metal tray requires a little bit of prying to get off the board itself, but it was fairly easy once it was done. The new memory module was then lined up and placed into place and the SSD was taken out and placed into the hard drive caddy. Once the machine was popped back together, because we cloned Windows over using the method on Macroom Reflect, the machine booted right up right away. 
and we'll also leave a very detailed guide for how to clone your PC hard drive using Macro and Leaflet from the good people over at windowscentral.com and the description that way it will give you a lot more detail on how to clone it and move it over on your old life. Hey, this metal can I... The fuck is it? Thank you.